and they'll set the charges off one through five on the bottom level, and then uh, they'll go higher as they go along. We also might add that the charges have been placed in 3,000 strategic places to make sure it comes down exactly the way they want it to. All right, we're, we are nearing the, uh, I feel like this is, uh, this is T minus two seconds to launch. Um, we are nearing the point at which the Fanatic and Greg Luzinski will push the plunger. One final look from Mayor Street. And there's the wedge taken out, and that helps facilitate the vet coming down. The implosion will begin to the left, mm -hmm. and then work its way 30 seconds, wise. station. 30 seconds to implosion at veterans. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You heard the 30-second call. And um, that first column goes down first, and then all the way Seven, around. Six, People are five, four, take one four, final look. three, two, fire, fire. That's all you can say. Wow. So much hype, so the much anticipation. The historic implosion of Philadelphia Veterans Stadium. Whew. Man, oh man. You see the, the, the dust cloud is moving. The city of Philadelphia. Uh, it is moving and east and is moving really right between you. the Spectrum, Citizens Bank Park, and it's headed over toward the link. And really, uh, I know what Matt Yaloff told us before, but I believe this is the direction in which they wanted to have the, the wind smoke, blow. the wind yes. blow, all of that go. Uh, Matt Yaloff. Uh, you, you're, you're with us still, right? Yes, I am, Michael. Wow, was that amazing or what? Absolutely amazing. And from our vantage point here, north of Veterans Stadium, or where Veterans Stadium used to be, it started out of our sight as it worked its way clockwise around. We heard it before we saw it. And then when it came around, um, the dust started to, uh, to move upward, which really kind of obscured the view. So for, I would say, half of the one minute, we couldn't see anything because of the dust clouds that are now traveling due east, which is, I think, exactly what they hoped for. It's going to pass the Holiday Inn out toward the water. As you look at the replay, it works itself around. We're kind of at the top end, at the north end. So about 20 seconds in, I was watching my watch, is when we when we saw the actual uh, stadium start to fall. And uh, all I can tell you is there are a lot of jaws hanging open out here. Hey, Matt, a question for you, uh, because Michael, Michael and I wondered about this uh, before going on the air. We, we wondered if we would be able to feel some of the ground vibrations from here. Uh, and we could. And we, we could. <laughs> but uh, what was it like from where you are? Because obviously you're much closer than we are. Well, you know, I'm on a riser, which is approximately, I'd say, four feet off the ground, where all the cameras are and a lot of the media is standing. There was a slight vibration, but it certainly wasn't what I thought it would be. I don't know the reason for it, but uh, it wasn't anything dramatic. I'll tell you, one of the interesting things, and you guys saw this on the replay, was a tower or part of uh, Veterans Stadium that did not fall immediately as the columns went down. And when it finally did fall, there was a cheer in the crowd, almost like a sarcastic cheer as if people were expecting it not to fall but uh, I guess they did their jobs from from my vantage point it looks like it's gone guys yeah we're, we're looking at a shot now actually from one of our cameras up here Matt in which you can see some of the columns at the bottom are still standing and I'm sure all those will be toppled with the wrecking ball but um, what a job and 62 I believe that actually took 62.5 seconds so that, that was a problem a little picky aren't you <laughs> 62 <laughs> seconds to come down and that shot is looking south southeast at Roosevelt Park the spectrum now to the left as the dust cloud 
continues to settle, the dust settling here, and that is where Veterans Stadium once stood. Oh my goodness. And the dust seems to be clearing out a lot quicker than I thought it would have, you know, because they were talk about, talking about the changing of the winds and, and things of that nature. But um, as we look behind us, you know, you, it's one thing to see it on a, a television monitor. It's an, another to see the actual view of it. And the dust is getting out of there, obviously, a lot quicker than I anticipated anyway. Yeah. What's incredible is that's, that's the shot we showed you about two minutes ago. And uh, that beautiful city skyline was obstructed by... Veteran Stadium. We got a before and after. Uh, that'd be great. This is this is a the magic of oh, television. Oh man, that's before and boom. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> boom. I said boom, <laughs> and it's and it's down. That's a live picture right now. Great job downstairs by Mark Caputo and uh, Mike Rosenstein and crew down there. Man, oh man. And and I think this is what the Phillies had in mind when they positioned the Citizens Bank Park where they did. Obviously, originally they wanted the the, the ballpark in the city, uh, center city, but um, what a view it will be from Citizens Bank Park looking down from home plate out to the city. Here's another look as the Fanatic and Craig Lisinski side by side watch it come down. southward then coming around very controlled and then passing around in front of the spectrum and finishing off right where it started at the corner of Broad and Patterson which is fitting and now the final job will soon begin of removing all of this debris and when I had a chance to talk to some of the demolition guys uh, on Thursday they said they will have all of this stuff cleared out of here and resurfaced into a parking lot before the football season begins. That's a phenomenal job in itself, considering how many thousands of tons of steel and concrete that has to be moved out of here. <laughs>